Cool. So this is the uh, Skyfish. M4. What, what, what do you guys call it? M Skyfish M4. M4. Okay, cool. M4 is modular quadcopter. Four blades, four props. Excellent. And this is one of the cool things you guys have is you guys have designed from the ground up your own control software. That's correct. Sky and Control. Sky Control. So walk us through. And this is iOS? This is Android? This, this is, is Android, yes. Android? Okay, cool. Uh, and it's running on the Mavlink protocol. So any flight controller that's using Mavlink will be able to use Sky Control. So it's not necessarily constrained to the M4 UAV. And all intuitive be... interface stuff? Correct, correct. So you can see here we have five buttons. First you start with plan. Uh, and you can click go to my GPS position. It's going to lock us in down here in San Francisco. And you guys host all the all the data on your servers, right? We do, right out of Montana. Okay. Uh, we have our own server farm. Uh, so you can see here, it's as simple as clicking your waypoints. Uh, double tap. Double tap the screen to add waypoints. This is where your UAV is going to fly. Now you can click your points of interest and have your gimbal and your camera actually focus on certain points uh, in your flight path. Uh, you can tell it when to engage and disengage. So right now I currently have my camera turning on number one and ending between three and four. Now we can even get more specific and open up the parameter sequencer and adjust the individual speed, altitude, lap long if you want to get specific with your waypoints. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see here that the altitude is being shown on this screen, this gray area is the actual hill sign. Okay. Uh, we've got three error uh, waypoints here and the UAV will not fly until those are fixed so you can go here and say verify altitudes. It'll give you an error message saying these three need to be fixed so you go ahead and say yes. You can set your altitude above ground level, your AGL. So let's just say we wanted to be 50 meters AGL. Mm -hmm. And you can also click this little checkbox here to comply with the FAA's regulations as to ensure you're not going over the 400 foot flight ceiling. Cool. Say okay. And you can see now that we're exactly 50 meters above ground level on this hill. Now notice when I actually adjust a waypoint on the screen, it's actually adjusting in real time on the sequencer and it's still staying at 50 meters above ground level. Cool. So no matter what you do to readjust your plan, it's always going to be in that safe mode. Now you can adjust the speed mm -hmm. of each individual waypoint. You can scroll down and enter the exact lat lat latitude and longitude of each mm -hmm. waypoint as well. Um, <clears throat> now if we plug a different uh, sensor in a different camera package, will it know? Will it automatically know that? Or do we have to update it and tell it it's a uh, LiDAR, it's a uh, uh, Canon? You know, it's a, I don't exactly know the answer to that question. Okay, cool. Uh, you're going to have to talk with my CEO. It's all good. It's okay. more. <laughs> uh, so here you can see you can adjust mapping layers. You can go to Bing. You can go to our own personal company's mapping layer, Map With Us, uh, running out of the servers out of Missoula, Montana, which is just a street view, but it's you know a little bit more simple if you'd like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One cool feature as well, if you also want to find out the altitude, you can click this little Alt button and click anywhere on the map to find out the altitude of that certain location. Now this is taking NASA's shuttle data uh, and being run off of our servers again, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you know fairly accurate given that it's NASA. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, They're like 10 meter blocks or something, or is it five meter blocks? I don't remember. I think it's something like that. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, cool. right in there. Um, <clears throat> so after you've got your uh, plan, you go to fly. I don't have the pick hawk connected today. Sure, it's sure, going to sure. give me an error message. But once you go to fly, you'll get your HUD up here. You'll get your real-time telemetry, your real-time flight data. Do so you guys um, have a forward-facing camera as well as your... Yes, we have an FPV right okay. here. Cool. Uh, and you've also got a gimbal option, whatever you want, any sensor, any camera. And so that's that's live streamed to the app, not just stored on board? Or no, it's not live streamed to Sky Control. Your Sky Control is just your flight controller. Okay. This will be live streamed to your ground station model. Okay. Cool. Um, so you can see a few things about the M4, that it's completely modular, in the sense that you can remove a boom arm. Mm -hmm. You can simply flip it over and remove we can get access at it. Remove some of the landing gear cool. as well. And also uh, remove the canopy as well. Mm -hmm. cool. It is truly a modular system in the sense that you can have a completely different UAV flying in the air once this thing lands. You can take it apart. And you're saying that with this configuration it's about 15 pounds or so? Yes, right around 15 pounds, all of the weight, the batteries. Uh, this isn't the current battery configuration, however, but batteries and GoPro, gimbal, and payload uh, adds up to about 15 pounds, and you're getting cool. about 30-minute flight time with that. Cool. And you guys are working on another 
iteration of the model that's going to have significantly longer flight. Correct. We're going to be doing a tri-blade option, meaning we'll have three different propellers mm -hmm. on each motor, uh, and we'll be having two 22,000 milliamp 6-cell batteries in here. And hopefully that'll equate to 45 to an hour, uh, 45 minutes to an hour flight time. And so what do these guys retail for? And I presume the app's just bundled with this guy, but, but what, what do these guys retail for? Yes. This is the M4 configuration. The integrated unit with Sky Control software and the M4 runs for about 13495 bucks. Cool. Which is a considerably lower price point than most. Right. Cool. With an integrated package. Awesome. <laughs> so the uh, Skyfish M4. Awesome, dude. Thanks, sir. There you go. Oh, yeah.